Good morning, good morning, good people of the world. Good people of the world, good people of the world. What's going on, man? What's going on, man? Man, it sure feel good to be free. Boy, it feel good to be free. Listen, young people, young people, young people. Don't go to prison, man. Don't go to prison. Don't even start that kind of cycle in your life, man. You understand what I'm talking about? Okay, look, welcome to another episode of Rev Mio TV, man. I'm going to drop y'all one, man, before I get out here in this cold, man. You know, this cold weather. You know, hey, look, I don't be cold, though. I be prepared for the cold, man. Got them insulated overalls on with all my different layers and stuff like that on up underneath and all that stuff, man. Man, listen, I'm going to give y'all one today, man. Man, my big homie, man. My big homie like them boys, man. My big homie like them booty boys, man. Hmm. This story right here, it goes back to um about 1991, I think, because I think this was like right before I went to prison boot camp. Uh, as as you all know, I served 16 years of my life incarcerated, right? So this was at a time that was really like right right before I started um, going to uh, uh, real prison, right? But nonetheless, you know what I'm saying? So I'm in the county jail. It's about 91. I'm probably about 18 years old, I'm thinking. I'm thinking this when this was, right? But I know I was real young. So I'm in the county jail, right? And uh, oh man, let me give a shout out, man, to my partner, man, George Oliver, man. Hey, man, that man served 14 years in prison, man. That man just got his master's degree, and he going on toward to get his law degree, right? And all this stuff coming together, man, to help us with our nonprofit and stuff to help our people. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to George Oliver, man. Jump forward, incorporated. So look, so I'm locked up. I'm about 18 years old. I'm in the county jail. And it's a group of us, man. It's, you know, um, you know, you 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 know, you find people. You know, you end up meeting people or whatever. Some people you already know, some you don't, whatever. That you end up kicking it with when you locked up. You know, where y'all, you know, play cards together, or you, you know, what I'm saying, y'all might, you know, what I'm saying, just talk together, and you know, what I'm saying, y'all might, you know, conjure up some crim criminal activities for when you release all kind of different stuff go on in prison, right? And in jails and all this different stuff. So it used to be probably about five or six of us, man, that, you know, we'll sit at the table and stuff, man, and be laughing about street life stuff. And we'll be like sharing pictures and looking at, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, the different little pictures that the girls send in and stuff like that and talking about what we did on the street. And, you know, some of us knew each other, man, you know, and we could share stories and relate and stuff like that. It passed the time, right? So where well, we had a big homie, though, my big homie. I ain't going to say his name. I ain't going to say his name, man. I'm not going to say the big homie name, right? But, um, and he dead and gone, man. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace. I ain't going to say his name, though. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, we got, um, he he got family that's still, still here, man. And I ain't, even, you know, it ain't, I ain't trying to put his business out there like that for real, for real. But, anyway. But, anyway. So the big homie, man, he was just a big old dude. He was about six, four, probably. Looked like he just been working out all his life. But he, he had done, done a bunch of time, too. So if I was, like, probably 18, he might have been 32, something like that. Between 30 and 32. I'd give him between 30 and 32. I'm, like, 18 years old. So he about 32 years old, right? Big dude, man. The man, arms and chest and stuff look like Schwarzenegger, man. You know what I'm saying? The the, the man was cock diesel, man. The man, arms and chest look like Arnold Schwarzenegger, man. That's how big he was, right? Big old, you know what I'm saying? Black dude with, uh, with you know, um, you know, just a big old dude. He had height on him. He had the size on him and everything, right? So, and he he carried himself with kind of a intimidating. Um, um, persona, you know what I'm saying? But he wasn't just putting on, you know what I'm saying? You know, he, you know, he'd get down for real, right? So, 
So I remember one time, right? I thought it was agreed upon that at a certain time that we were gonna change the TV, turn the TV to the football game, right? So it came that time, the time came. And so um, I'm kind of looking back and forth at the TV and I'm looking at the group of people who watching something else on the TV like, and so big homie like, he like, hey, me oh, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Like that. And um, I said, man, I'm finna go over here and put it on the football game, man. So uh, he said, man, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? You know, he like, man, go ahead. You know, like he, he'd be ready for action. You understand what I'm saying? So I, he said, man, I got you back. I go on over there. See that the TV is the trick box. And it was only one TV in the dormitory, man. It was one TV in the dormitory. Big mistake. If you're going to put some in there, man, TV in there, man, you need to put enough TVs in there, man, where people don't have to be fighting over what they're going to watch. So look. So I go over there. I walk up to the TV. And um, I say, hey, man, y'all know who put on, on a football game. So I changed the TV to the football game. So one of the dudes, like he stand up, he like, man, what you doing? What, what, man, man, what you? Man, big homie just came out of nowhere, man. Wow, man, he slapped the dude. And he had them big old hands too, man. Man had them big old. He just, he just, he was just a big dude. You know what I'm saying? The man was probably about six. Like I said, he probably about six four. He was about two forty, solid like a workout. You know what I'm saying? Like. He wasn't no, the man didn't have hardly no fat on him. He been doing the prison workouts and stuff all his life, man. The man slapped that man, pow! Man, he hit that man. Y'all seen them, um, have, have y'all seen them, uh, um, them little competitions where them people be on YouTube and stuff and they stand at the table and they, they slap each other. They let one another slap each other like that, man. Man, he slapped that dude, man, the dude like, Boy, his eye, like his face did something like this, like you know what I'm saying. You could tell he was just dazed, and so he backed up and he was just trying to shake it off. So um, big homie just stood right there beside me, right. So the dude he was like, nah, he was like, nah, ain't horse, it ain't even that serious horse. He called him horse, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, horse, man, man, it, it ain't even that serious, man. You know what I'm saying? So big homie like, man, yeah, I know it ain't that serious, you know what I'm saying? And that was the end of that. You know what I mean? So look. So time go on a little bit, man. We probably been, you know, so this county jail stuff. So you know, county jail, man. You know, you come in. Some people don't have bonds. If I was still in jail, I didn't have a bond because I ain't never been in jail, and they gave me a bond and I didn't make the bond. You understand what I'm saying? So, so I'm sitting in the jail. You know, he in jail and other people in jail. So they end up bringing. This Buddha boy in there. They bring the Buddha boy in, and the dude got long hair. The Buddha boy got long hair. He a black dude, but he got a perm in his head, right? So he got he come in, he got long hair down like past his shoulders. You know, he ain't you know he ain't he ain't got no 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 um, no uh, breasts and no no none of that stuff. He don't have breasts stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But he come in, man. Oh, man, he come in. You know, he got the whole look. You know, he you know he got the whole walk, the talk, the everything. He got all the twang in his walk, and he got all the twang in his talk. You understand what I'm saying? So he come in, man. He flaming, flaming homosexual, right? Man, next thing I know, but it, it, it probably wasn't even an hour later. Big homie is on him. At first, I ain't, you know, I ain't think nothing of it at first. At this time, I'm still kind of naive in my, you know what I'm saying, in my prison experiences and stuff like that. And so, you know, I see Big Homie go over there, talk to the dude, you know, and then next thing I know, Big Homie come and bring him, you know, some Zoom Zooms and Wham Whams. He's giving him, you know, and Big, Big Homie had a little money too. So he come over there and he giving dude you know, some soups and honey buns and stuff like that. You know, I you know, I'm just thinking, man, big homie just being nice to the dude, you know, whatever, right? Man, look at him, man. It so this went on for the next couple of days. Like he'll sit over there like well, he would be over there talking to us all day and you know what I'm saying, telling street stories and all this stuff. 
now he was spending a lot of that time sitting over here talking to the Buddha boy, right? So by that third day, oh, the Buddha boy in his room with him now. The Buddha boy in his room with him now, right? Big homie ain't even coming out the room no more. Man, big homie ain't even coming out the room no more, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, by the time, you know, he come out the room sometimes, a few minutes here, a few minutes there, stuff like that. Him and the Buddha boy in the room so much that his cellmate can't even hardly come in the room. You know what I'm saying? And chill in the room and be comfortable in his own room. So, big homie, I'm, I'm going to tell you what he was doing. So he'll put a towel up, cause when you walk in the door of this particular uh, jail, you looking at the foot of the bed. The bed is not lined up sideways. When you walk in the room, you looking at the foot of the bed, right? So he'll take towels and hang from the top bunk that will cover the bottom bunk. But you can still see, like if somebody laying in the bed, you can still see you know what I'm saying? Like this much of their body. You can see probably, you know what I'm saying, a little bit of their face and this much of their body if they laying in the bed because that's the way the bed was positioned. Well, if they laying over like this and they got their head over like, you know what I'm saying, this on this side where well, you can see their whole face. You know what I'm saying? If you walk by the room or whatever. Man, big homie and the booty boy is laid up in the bed. Oh man, big homie, big homie and the booty boy laid up in the bed, man. So he had, he, he had hollered for somebody, you know what I'm saying, to tell me to uh, you know, to, to, to come to his room for a second, right? So I come over there, you know what I'm saying, I stand in the door. I, I'm stopping in the door. I stop in the door. They laid up in the bed. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking, I ain't saying nothing. But inside, in my head, man, I'm like, God, dog, man, I'm talking about, boy, ain't no shame, boy, it wasn't no shame in his game. They laid up in the bed, you know what I'm saying? So then, next thing you know, he get the booty boy moved from the cell that he was in to his cell and switch his cell made out. So he get his cell made out. He bring the booty boy in, so now he got a whole live-in jailhouse relationship with the booty boy. Big homie and the booty boy. Big homie wouldn't even hardly come out the room, dog. They come in, come out sometimes. They get a little breakfast tray or something or whatever, dinner tray sometimes. Um, you know, they come out sometimes. They might watch a little TV sometimes. So now that sometimes they come out, man, and they sit over at their own little table together, man. And I'm talking about, man, they all, you know, they act like they're in a relationship now, right? So next thing I know, the booty boy that came out the room and he's standing over there and he talking to, he had a homeboy that came in, some little, little skinny dude. So the booty boy had a homeboy came in, he's standing over there talking to the homeboy, right? So I see my big homie, big homie, he come out his door, he's standing by his door, you know what I'm saying, and he gritting. You know what I'm saying? He gritting, you know what I'm saying? So he called the booty boy. He like, hey, get your A over here. That's how he talked to him. Get your A over here. Like that, right? So the so the booty boy, he keep he continue with his conversation. Man, look at here, man. Big homie walk over there. He grabbed the dude handful of booty man i'm talking about man listen man big homie walk up to the dude and palm handful of booty i'm talking about man it's probably the, i mean the day room probably was full of you know what i'm saying i don't know probably with 40 50 people in the day room some watching tv some playing cards some doing whatever they doing whatever 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 but man he walked over and palm dude like uh like this he said, um, didn't I tell you to get your A over here? You know what I'm saying? So the dude, he like said something like smarter, you know what I'm saying? And he made like a little gesture, you know what I'm saying, like that or whatever, whatever. 
Man, Big Homie done grabbed him by his hair. He had his hair pulled up in a ponytail. I told you he had long hair. Big Homie done grabbed the dude by his hair and snatched him all the way down to the ground, man. Snatched him to the ground. I'm talking about uh, all the way down to the ground. You know what I'm saying? So everybody like, you know what I'm saying? Man, the dude got up. The booty boy got up off the ground. Big Homie was standing over him. You know what I'm saying? Booty boy got up off the ground, walked straight to the room. Big homie followed behind him. Went on in the room. Whatever they, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know, man. I guess they were getting into arguments or something. I don't know for real, for real. But this man was in a whole, man, he in there abusing the, man, look, look, look man. They, but, wasn't no shame in his game, man. Young people. If you don't want to put up with this kind of stuff in your life, man, and you don't have to, man, don't go to prison, man. Stay out of these folks' jailhouse, man. Get your education, okay? There's plenty of opportunities out here, man, but you got to work for it, all right? So, big homie, man, I mean, he, he in there manhandling the dude, man. You know what I'm saying? So, the dude just about scared to come out the room or whatever. But they had like a whole little relationship type of thing going on. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I mean, I I ended up leaving there before he did. But the booty boy ended up bonding out. The booty boy bonded out before I left. You know what I'm saying? And then Big Homie started like, you know, kind of coming around again sometimes, but not like he was. And everybody trying to like, you know, kind of, you know, stay away from him a little bit without without saying, man, we ain't messing with you, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, man, you know, hey, man, we, hey, man, can't fool with you, dog. Didn't, didn't nobody want to fool with this big old crazy dude. You know what I'm saying? Didn't, didn't, to be honest with you, didn't nobody want them problems because you're going to have to kill this dude. You're going to have to put that mop ringer to his head. You're going to have to stab him. You're going to have to do something to him. Uh, he wasn't finna lose too many one-on-one -on -one fights. He one of them dudes you got to you got to knock him upside the head with something. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, man, um, yeah, that that's the story, man. Big homie, big homie like them booty boys, man. And wasn't no shame in his game, boy. Wasn't no shame in his game. Listen, man, Rev Mio TV. Hey, very important, man. Hit that like button. Hit that like button and comment. Hit that like button and comment. It's very, very important for the algorithm. And share this video with at least three people. Y'all be blessed today, man. Ray of Mio TV.